two years in the making, third attempt, and we've managed to put a plane on a helipad 200 meters above the ground on the most iconic, the most beautiful building in the world. <laughs> Becoming the first ever person to land a plane on a helipad, Polish pilot Luke Cipiela recently made history with his bullseye landing on top of the helipad of Dubai's iconic Burj Al Arab Hotel. Landing at a platform raised 212 meters in the air, the pilot only had 27 meters to bring the carbon cub to a complete halt. So what made him accomplish this feat? Well, let's find out from the man himself. So when we landed the aircraft on uh, Tuesday morning, uh, that was about after 20 minutes of flying, was the most iconic helipad that we can think of. And of course, the first thing that comes to your mind is Burj Al Arab. Huh? It was like very quick decision. And it was perfect decision because once I landed, it took another minute and the wind died. We just had such a small window, you know. It's, you know in aviation, we have a saying that uh, flying is 90% of waiting and 10% of rushing. And uh, I'm pretty used to it by now. So, uh, but when it comes to fear, you have to eliminate the fear. Uh, I painted a circle that was equivalent distance of uh, of the landing available on the Burj Al Arab. Uh, I took my aircraft, which is quite similar to the one uh, we, we used for the project, and I started landing there. When I flew for the project, I, I did not see any views. <laughs> I was so focused on the helipad. Uh, it's like you probably would tell me uh, how did the palm look on your way from skydive to the, to the Burj Al Arab and I would ask you like what palm, you know? <laughs> Maybe not the scariest but the most challenging, yes. Definitely one of the hardest projects I ever had to do. So the aviation came to my life at the age of six. My dad took me to a local air show and I saw a robotic flight by a Polish national champion. And I thought like, this is really cool. And a six year old Luke told his dad like, hey, I'm gonna do that. He wouldn't believe me and he just said, yeah, yeah, yeah. My motto is like, if you love something, just do it. I, I come from a pretty poor family. We, we didn't have much and I couldn't afford flying. But I was working at the airport cleaning planes. Then I went to UK and I worked as a babysitter just to get some money for flying. And then, uh, you know, I started uh, like kind of my own business selling aircraft parts to the part, uh, working for somebody else. But I developed new markets for them. But uh, I believe in karma, you know. So if you really, really want something, the world will try to help you and you can get it. So, yeah, from a young poor guy in Poland, now I'm, uh, I'm someone who was staying at the Burj Al Arab the last two nights. <laughs> it's amazing. I hope to be back in Dubai because I think with this we open the doors to promote Dubai as a, as a great aviation scene for the future. But the best reward for the landing was takeoff. And I had so much fun just dropping the aircraft out of the sky, diving almost to a beach level and then doing aerobatics like this far from Burj Al Arab, <laughs> man, that was absolutely fantastic.